All right, welcome to the new Tesla video. We've got a brand new software update today, which adds a few new things, but um, most importantly, it adds this. So we've got the review camera, which comes up when you go into reverse. But look at that, there's a dinky little arrow right there. And if I was to click him, we can see the side cameras now as well when you reverse. So once this is clicked, if I'm to go back into drive and then go into reverse, all cameras come up by default and you can see that they are completely live so if I start reversing everything kind of updates instantly so in this video we're just going to be playing about with these three new cameras giving our thoughts on them see how useful they actually are so the very first thing that I'm going to do is we're just going to see how useful these three cameras are because my immediate thoughts is that there's just quite a lot going on and I don't know if this is just too much to look at and potentially more distracting but I guess we'll see so I'm just going to see if I can squeeze myself in between those cars and hopefully not fall into the lake behind and we'll use our free review camera just so we can see kind of how useful they actually are because they should be quite helpful with your blind spots okay so we're going down and what i'm noticing is oh there's a crisp packet there is a crisp packet <laughs> <laughs> what i'm noticing while becky's noticing the crisp packet is that i'm not really looking at either of these at the moment i'm just still focusing on the big main camera but perhaps that's just because i'm not used to it so the car's beeping at me just to let me know that i'm nearby this uh, this black car on the right all right we're in yeah, I didn't really look at those at all, but I suppose, I mean, we can see how close we are to cars next to us. If we're in a car park, you can see that I have parked really close to this car just because of the angle that they're at. However, potentially, if I just go forward, if I was reversing like I am doing, if this car quickly opened their door, I would notice that immediately, even if my attention was on the big main camera, and then I would obviously stop, and I'd probably see that quicker through this camera than if I was looking over a blind spot. So from that respect, it is quite handy. Look at the dragonfly. Oh... <laughs> uh, one thing that I'll notice is when I go into reverse you'll see that the cameras take a little bit longer to load and I don't think this was an issue prior to the update you see black screen for a little bit as you can see which wasn't an issue before I suppose that's just because there's more to load it looks like the main one opens up straight away though which is fine right what we're going to do is we're going to go into drive and we're going to have a little bit of a drive about because if I click on this you can also view the cameras when you're going forwards just whenever you want I mean obviously it completely fills the map so if you were navigating somewhere that you've never been before that wouldn't be very useful but it is quite nice to be able to see all three cameras while we're driving so I think another potential use for the sideways cameras could be when you're on the motorway because obviously when you switch lens in the motorway you have to check your blind spot whereas this camera effectively is your blind spot so i think it could be very useful if i was to flick the right indicator perhaps the right camera could show up on screen and i can just have a glance at that make sure there's no cars there and everything's fine and then the, the same with the left as well so perhaps the camera could show up in a, a really nice place perhaps full screen like this rear view camera currently it doesn't do that but that would be something fairly useful in the future so another thing that i think is quite interesting and i'm a bit confused why tesla haven't done it yet basically these days a lot of new cars not teslas have this bird's eye view feature which becky will overlay some footage on screen it basically uses multiple cameras built in around the sides of the cars to give the impression that there is a camera above the car that can see from a bird's eye view and this is really really handy when you're reversing because if you're reversing in between two cars you can basically visualize the cars right on top of you now tesla doesn't currently have this and i think right here would be the perfect spot to implement this bird's eye view thing basically every single time you flip into reverse the bird's eye view could show up right there they wouldn't even need to mess with the interface too much and to be honest, I feel like that would be more useful than just having these three different cameras because these three cameras, I just feel like there's too much to look at when you're looking at three cameras here, you're actually looking over your shoulder and all that sort of thing. So I can only assume that the reason that they've not currently done the bird's eye view thing is just that potentially the hardware in the car isn't capable of doing the bird's eye view thing because they just didn't think about it when the, when the cars were built. Perhaps there's just a few cameras in key locations missing or perhaps I'm completely wrong and maybe they're working towards that and this is just a little teaser in the meantime. I don't know. Let me know what you think about a bird's eye view feature for Teslas in the comments down below. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to shove Becky in the driver's seat and I'm going to do a little lap around the car just so we can actually work out where the blind spots are with these three cameras because potentially there still will be some blind spots. Oh, I can see myself. Becky, look. I'm right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk to the back and let me know if there's a period of time where you can't see me at all or hopefully it'll just merge from one to the other. All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. There's a puddle. Why have I put us here? <laughs> so what was it like? Could you see me the whole time? Yeah, it was literally as soon as you went from that camera, it went up to that camera. And the ah. same with that one. So it literally was just a full loop all the way around. Ah, no way. So I, I suppose that means that there aren't any blind spots at all because obviously everything else is in front of you. So you don't need a camera to be able to see it. Right, I'm going to just run around like three times quickly. Just so See me the whole 
whole time. Yeah, other than obviously when you're at the front. Tell me when it doesn't no longer sees me. Is it just right here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So doesn't see you there. And then it, I'm guessing I, I can just see your arm. Into frame. Yeah. So obviously me being stood here, not being visible on the cameras, isn't a problem at all because the driver can see you absolutely perfectly, and the driver can see anything from this point onwards all the way around. So there's another new feature as well as the cameras. If we go into the dash cam viewer, I've not checked this out yet, by the way, but I have seen some videos on it. Hang on, this isn't what I wanted to show you, but um, <laughs> it's showing us the entirety of our trip today. So I get to watch myself <laughs> run around the camera. This is amazing. Look at that. <laughs> so this must be new in the software updates. I didn't actually realize this, but you can see that this is 43 minutes long. Now that's how long we've been in the car today. So I guess it's just filmed the entirety of our trip and we can watch the whole trip back. So if I was to scroll backwards, um, we'd get towards my house. So I'll probably just stop about here, to be honest. Previous to the software update, all of these clips were 10 minutes and by default, it would only show you the last incident that happened, not just your entire trip. But we're gonna have a look at some incidents. So we were at Frodrum the other day and as you can see, look at that little thing, Becky. Ooh. So if I go to this point in the video, it'll show me the reason that it recorded this car park. And as you can see, it's because this car and then this person got really near to the, the camera. So it's set off sentry cam and it thought that that was worth filming. Now this little red dot feature, I'm just saying, I said that they should implement that like two months ago. And uh, this update came out on my birthday. So coincidence? Yes. But still very cool nonetheless. Let's see what other incidents we've got. Another one in the car park. Oh, here's our incident. Oh, it's this lady. Look at her. There she is. <laughs> Don't you get too close. Let me see another one, let me see another one. All right, little red dot right over here. So if you don't know, Sentry Cam records when you're not in the car. The car was just parked in a car park. And basically when someone gets too close to the car, her ass is touching the back of my car there, I'm sure. Write that registration plate down, Becky. <laughs> All right, I've just come up with a genius new mini game. So we're gonna watch me run around the car again, but I'm gonna flick to the correct camera each time. Wow, look at that stance. Right, here we go, I'm ready. I, I think I should be setting off. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a bit late with it. I just need to get used to the order. So it'll go right, rear, left, front. Is that right? So left, front. Oh, front. Right. Oh, I think I've nailed it. Rear. <laughs> rear. Vicky, <laughs> you have to have a go. You have to have a go. You have to have a go. Right. Oh, she's stretching her fingers. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, nice, confident first manoeuvre. That's when I realised <laughs> that there was a puddle there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going. Nice, nailed it. Oh, I'm not going to lie, you're smashing this so far. But... <laughs> oh, you're a bit late on that one. Oh, it's getting a bit stressful now. Picked up some speed. <laughs> See, that in itself is hours of fun right there. And the entire software update's worth it just for that little mini game. Centricam also has a feature where if you beep your horn, the last 10 minutes of Centricam footage are saved and they're not deleted until you choose to delete them. So what I want to test is if I beep my horn, will the little red button thing show up at the exact moment I beeped my horn? So we're going to test that out now. And I reckon... The best way for me to do it is just to have a little bit of a drive and then I'm going to shake around and then beat my horn immediately afterwards. Okay. <laughs> did you enjoy that, Becky? I did not tell her that I was doing that, but as you can see on the screen, it's saving the dash cam footage. What I absolutely love about the, the dash cam is just the fact that you can watch it straight away. So we can park up now and hopefully we should be able to watch the last 10 minutes. So I go into park and then if I click on launch viewer, hopefully it's here. There it is. And there's a little red thing right there. So let's see if that's our beep. I don't think it's gonna be, but maybe it is. Yeah, we're on the move. Oh, I think it is. I think that's gonna exactly be our beep because get ready for my shakes. All right, I'm shaking and then I beeped. Yeah, so the moment at which I beeped is shown by the red button, which is to be expected, but still nice to confirm. So I think the last thing that we wanna do is we're gonna just have a quick dip onto the motorway, just so we can see if having these new cameras up is at all useful when uh, pulling around and checking your blind spot. Now, just before we get to the motorway, I'm gonna turn on autopilot because I wanted to quickly check if we're gonna be using these cameras to check our blind spot, we wanna make sure there's a very minimal delay. So I'm just gonna open the window, turn the cameras on. It's gotten very noisy. But I'm just gonna, where's my hands? There he is. I'm just gonna clap and I'm gonna count as I clap. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
So did that look particularly delayed? A little bit. I think it is always worth 100% checking your blind spot anyway when you're pulling around on the motorway, even if autopilot's engaged and it is doing the lane change for you. But I do think these cameras are definitely gonna be a helping hand related to your blind spot as well. Here we go, we're now on the motorway. Autopilot is engaged, we're behind this lorry. We've got our three cameras up so we can take a look at how useful these new cameras are. So obviously we're going below the speed limit at the minute, so there are cars that want to overtake us. So we're gonna wait for them to turn up and um, I guess that'll be when we can check our blind spot. So the car that's going past us now, he actually looked a lot further away in this rear view camera. You'll see this white car's the same. He's actually more or less next to us right now but it looked really far away at that moment in time on the camera. So I'd say from that point of view, that's actually less useful. Because if I was basing pulling out purely on that camera there, I'd have thought that I actually would be able to nip out in time. Got another camera coming up, so in my blind spot, I can't see them at all, but I can see them in that mirror, of course. All right, we can see her there, and then we can see them on there. So I think basically, you want to still be checking your blind spot. Obviously, more visibility is nice, but I think perhaps these cameras, they're probably more useful for reversing into a parking spot than for using them on the motorway. But that being said, it is nice to be able to see what autopilot can see. If autopilot's having issues in sunny weather, you can check your cameras and you can see that basically the cars are blinded and you'd know that that was the reason the autopilot was being a bit funny. But there we go, that's the new software update. Nice to see the extra cameras, but really I think what I would prefer is a bird's eye view visibility when you're reversing. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Remember we upload at least once a week, so please do subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this. Every time there's an interesting software update, we will do a video on it. Thanks for watching and I will see you all later. Alright, welcome to...